So as for the tools, this is pretty much what you're gonna need. All right, you don't need everything, but it does help. All right, I take out the lug nuts, I'm gonna use this. My impact wrench, jack up the car, I'm gonna use this. To secure it once it's jacked up, I'm gonna use that. And this three quarter wrench and the socket. This is for the tight spots, right? Because you got like a suspension bar that you're gonna need this. And you could use this for the top so you'll be able to get it out easier. When you're replacing the bolts, you can use your tread lock. And also, this is for the brake pads so it shifts easy, you know, open and closes easily when braking. You're gonna use this to squeeze the brakes pads in, right, to compress the piston for the brake pads. This is to clean up a little rust and stuff like that, you know. Might help unseize the, the big bolt that I'm gonna be showing you which one to take out for the calipers. And here we have uh, some Duralas Gold, supposed to be some good brake pads. You know so hopefully you learn how to do your own brake pad change I'm gonna have other videos coming up on because I'm gonna change the rotors as well all right I'm also gonna change these where the brake pads slide into all right right inside that groove that's where you're gonna put some of that grease there okay Alright, so excuse my car, I didn't clean it as yet, but, um, you know, it'd be better, I think, if I clean it afterwards. Anyhow, so, before I jack it up, what I'm going to do is, like, crack all the bolts, right? Remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey, so you turn the bolts to your left, okay? And, um, yeah, I'm using this for my breaker bar it is really a torque wrench but it's about the length of a standard breaker bar and it's gonna help me to loosen up these bolts okay so I uh, started using this uh, Chicago electric power tool um, it's corded as an impact wrench Seems to be working great, actually. A little better than I expected, so. I'm just gonna use this to take off all the bolts, right? And so I'll jack it up right now. With the impact wrench, you should be able to take it out while it's up, so. I'll jack it up a little bit, then fully jack it up once I uh, loosen up everything. Alright, so uh, I got it jacked up, everything's nice and safe, I got this wood here for support so the jack doesn't sink into my sandy driveway, and uh, I got a brick over there, that's to help prevent any roll or anything like that. Alright, so I'm going to be changing these brake pads. It, and eventually these rotors but uh rotors not today that's the brake pads so first first one we deal with is this bolt right here it's a three quarter quarter inch bolt and there's another one further down there All right so use this wrench for this bolt at the bottom. Remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. I respect you like you're taking off a um, like a soda bottle or something like that, so you don't mess up the treadings. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one here, this record wrench. Right on the top here. 
Alright, so we're going to be going in this direction. Alright. Might be using like a hammer to help persuade this to go because most likely you use a uh, lock seal, you know, the they call it the tread seal, sorry. So it's going to be tight to come out. So I'm going to have to tap it a bit with a hammer. As I was saying, I'll just check, you know, try to check the direction to take off these nuts and bolts because sometimes it's in front of you and it's easy so you know what's lefty and what's righty and when it's the opposite and just you gotta flip that around so uh, I gotta go in this direction so I gotta tap it here a bit okay alright I managed to get it loose but I'll just try to spray a little bit of um, you know WD-40 on those bolts That's to loosen it up. Those thing was that was tight. So uh, yeah, took a lot of persuasion for that. All right, so I took this out. This is one brake pad out. This other one. <clears throat> and um move this clutch right here. Alright, so um put it in the new pads. I just put a dab of that uh goose right there around the edges. I'm gonna slip it in right here. to get on the grease on the pads itself as much as I can. Slip that in there. All right. So now I have to compress this piston so I have a good enough gap to fit around the rotor. Right here, but no problem. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Alright, now I got this uh, compression tool. That is going to close the gap. I have one brake pad here. And I have a shim here from uh, the front brake setup. So as I turn, it compresses it. That's compressed, I could uh, take it out now. I don't think it's going to like, bounce back. Take it all the way out. Okay. That's how it is. Take this out. Got enough gap to uh, put the uh, bridge down here. Alright, you gotta shift it over.
off the game. Gotta be patient. Like a spoon. See that? Up right in. Up a little bit. On. A little stretch seal. Another bolt and uh, should be good. Press uh, pause, I think. 